good to hear this gospel selection once in a while. We're all striving to be better and better. I don't know about perfect, but uh, we're in the process, and that's what the call is for. The Bible readings today reveal God's plan for all of us. Bottom line is, it is to be holy, to lead a holy life. It's easier than it sounds. The third glorious mystery of the rosary is the descent of the Holy Spirit. In the book of Acts 24, 50 to 53, it is recorded that Jesus teaches, we have it in us to be holy as the Father is holy, compassionate and merciful. It's in our genes. Coming to Mass and all the sacraments fuel our ability to consistently be holy. At first, you might think holiness is out of reach for you. Be careful. That would be false humility. The devil is around. At birth, we come with the potential to be compassionate and merciful. Do you see yourself being compassionate with others? The children, of course, but with others. Do you see yourself being merciful with others? And there you have it. Anyone can meet the expectation to be holy. Don't be afraid of that word. Don't be embarrassed by it. Strive for it. It means to strive to treat people with respect all the time. It means we strive to be understanding, forgiveness, as God is compassionate and merciful with us. Bottom line is holiness is doable for everyone here. Doable. The Bible readings give instructions on how to do this. For instance, back in the Moses time, he was teaching not to criticize. Not to criticize. He taught his people to love their neighbor as they love themselves. St. Paul also taught us not to criticize others. He said, because it is being judgmental when we do that. A holy person goes the extra mile for someone. It is to be commended that we offer to help others as often as we do and as much as we do. That's religion in practice. Well done. A holy person, first and foremost, though, is a person who prays, every day prays. A person who prays is thereby a humble person, and humility is important. If we pray every day, I would suggest God would eventually want us to be with him in heaven. We are his people. Well, Lent begins this week, did you know? Ash Wednesday is this Wednesday. A suggestion of something to do for Lent would be, when you pray, pray in thanksgiving for the sure hope for your salvation. <laughs>